about us people of God we got to change so that we can be the way God would have us to be we got to learn how to please God and Philippians 2 and 13 says for it is God who is working in us in you enabling you both to desire and to work out his good purpose it's God that's doing the changing he's working in you but we got to be willing to allow him to do just that. Change means an act of will, to try to make a difference, to progress, to grow. In our Christian walk, we the desire to grow the way God would have us to grow, to be all that God would have us to be. We're not perfect. None of us are. But what we're doing, we're striving. And we got to want a change. Amen. It's like a person 
we as women, we change our hairstyles every week, every two weeks, or every month. We change it because we want to be different. If we don't like it a certain way, we change that. We do whatever we have to do in order to make us feel good. Uh-huh. And we gotta be back like that about our Christian walk. It's not about our feelings nor even our emotions. I can run this flow every Sunday, but if I'm not high, I don't see. Striving each and every day, trying each and every day to make a difference for God, it does no good. Uh-huh. I can't please Bishop. I can't please a crowd. I can't please, if my parents were living, I can't please them. I got to please God. All right. But all he want is a willing heart. Uh-huh. A person that will strive each and every day. We change. Ch- change is like a lifestyle. We change our eating habits. We decide that we eat too much of this type of stuff. Carbohydrates is going to cause us to gain weight. We decide that we eat too many sweets. It's going to cause us to gain weight. We realize that we eat chocolate. It might break your face out. We change those things because we know it's, it's for our good. Yes. And that's what our Christian walk needs to be the same way. We change these things because it's going to be for our good. Amen. It's for his glory. Amen. You heard the song say, I'll do anything for your glory. Amen. Because we, hallelujah, we as a people, as a people, we are so easily, we're so quick to try to make things amends with people and, and trying to look good or be popular. Or be like everybody else. But haven't you noticed it doesn't work? All right. Amen. Haven't you noticed that, that it doesn't, it's not working out in the way you think it should be? You're not as popular as you think you are? Amen. People are not as doing what you want them to do. They're not always happy. It's just like a spouse. I can do whatever Bishop wants me to do every day, all day long, every minute. But is he always going to be happy? No. Mm-hmm. Is he going to be satisfied? No. I got to do what's good for me. All right. Not saying that I'm not trying to please him. I'm trying to say that I need to do what God wants me to do. All right. I need to live the way God would have me to live. Because see, de- de- a bishop don't have a heaven or a hell to put me in. Right. Nor this world have a heaven nor hell to put me in. So that's why each and every day I got to strive to do what he would have me to do. A person that diets drink water every day. Some people do 64 ounces. Uh-huh. That water breaks down some things. Yeah. It tears down, it tears, breaks down a lot of that sugar. Hallelujah. Yeah. It causes you to be able to function properly even in your bowels. It causes a lot of things to make things happen. Yeah. But I got to strive and push and try each and every day to drink those ounces. Even if I can put it on the side of my bed, I do what I got to do. As a child of God, we got to be just that way about our Christian walk. Each and every day, this word, I got to get it in my heart. I got to get it in my spirit. If I find myself all all track or straying to going in a different direction, I need to go in a direction that will cause everything to go good for me. I need to go in a direction that will cause things to be better for my life. Uh Hallelujah. Sometimes we think we're so sad. It's so sad. That got to be a Christian is just boring. Christianity is so boring. We don't do nothing. But you can do things as a Christian. People still go to the movies. People still, hallelujah, go to family gatherings. People still go to reunions. Hallelujah. All right, all right. Amen. You just got to walk God the way God wants you to walk. Amen. Let people see Jesus in you. Yes. That don't mean you got to wear a long skirt down to your ankle. Uh huh. Hallelujah. All right. That don't mean you got to wear turtlenecks. Amen. Big sweaters. They don't mean nothing like that. It's not Christianity. Righteousness is set apart for Christ. Amen. 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 Set apart. Amen. You're different. That's right. How do you get see? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Totally different. Righteousness is an inward change. Uh-huh. Yes, Amen. You don't think the way you used to think. All right. Amen. Your heart is not like it used to be. Uh-huh. I don't love certain people. I hate certain people. Uh-huh. It's the inward man. It's your heart. 
Amen. It's not an outward thing in how you don't know say. People need to quit living about outward because inwardly you all messed up and tore up from the floor. Man. All right. You still hating. You still mad at people from way back when. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Have a lot of unforgiveness in your heart. Uh -huh. You jealous because sister so and so got a new car and you ain't got one. On all right, all right. It's the inward. That's what righteousness is about. It's about the inward man. Inward. Amen. The change. Inward. God. How many times you have said, man, and once upon a time I would have did this. Once upon a time I would have said that. Girl, you different. Something different about you. It's Jesus on the inside. Yeah, yes. I've changed. Yes, Jesus. I remember, girl, when. I remember when you used to do this and do that. Uh -huh. I remember you getting mad every time I say something to you. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Always huffy and puffy and always angry. But it's something about you that smile is a glow. Yeah. yeah. It's like a pregnant woman. When she gets pregnant, she has a glow about herself. Uh -huh. It's something different about her. Yeah. It's something on the inside. Yes, yes. When Jesus get on the inside, there's something different, saints. Yes, yes, it is. When he starts to live and dwell on the inside, it makes a difference. Amen. 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 But we got to want that change. We got to want that change. We want to believe. Hallelujah. We want to live. Hallelujah. According to his will and his way. Well, how do I know that? Read your word. Ask God. I don't understand the word. Well, ask God. God will show you. How many times you got ready to do something and the Spirit of the Lord began to speak to you and said, don't do that. All right. Come on. Come on. And you said something inside me just told me not to do it. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. That's God living on the inside. That's that change. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You want to be different. You want to change. Because you come to the realization all the things that you've tried to do is not working. All the things that your, that your friends told you to do, it's not working. All the things that you strive to, hallelujah, to change in your life, it's not working. Tell it, tell it now, Amen. tell it. We need to be going uphill, not down. Amen. Uh-huh. We need to be going forward, not back. Amen. Yes, yes Lord. So Christian don't go back. Yes, they do. Uh-huh. Preach it now, preach. Hallelujah. Yes, they do. They get off track. Amen. And when they get off track, they don't even feel right. Amen. It don't even feel right. I heard my son say he began to eat some things that he had ate before. All the greasy foods and the sweets and stuff, and it didn't even feel right. It don't even feel right when we try, try to go back to doing what we used to do. All right. Amen. And one thing about it, saints, when you get the taste of the Lord, uh huh. where the scripture says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Uh -huh. When you get that taste, hi, y'all all say, yes, Jesus. we ought to want more and more and more. Come on, come on, come on. It's like an alcoholic. An alcoholic, once they get that taste, they want some more, don't they? You better say it. Amen. They can't wait till the weekend. They got to have some Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right. That's right. They all got hooked. We need to get hooked like that about the Lord. Amen. 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 We are to hunger for God just like we hunger for that hallelujah sweet potato pie. Yes, Jesus. All right, Donna. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some cookies home last night and Bishop went and got those cookies. <laughs> we had to hide them from him. <laughs> I'm going to have to have him. I have to find a spot where he won't look for him. Because once you get that taste of that cookie, uh -huh. it's just like a potato chip, ain't it? Amen. You can't eat just one. Just one. Amen. Once you get a taste of this world, Amen. Come on, come on now. it'll pull you out there. I'm telling you. Yes, you know, if you're not strong enough, it will pull you out there. That's why we always tell people, y'all stay in church, baby. Amen. Yes. 
That's right. Pray every day. That's right. You can't pray one one day a week and then think it's gonna be okay. You gotta pray every day because that enemy is out there to change you back to your old man. That's right. Amen. Change. God is doing the working in us, okay? He's doing the work, but he just waiting for you to let allow him to come in and do and finish the work. Hallelujah, Jesus. A caterpillar don't turn into a, a butterfly in one day, does it? No, it don't. It's a process. Yes, it is. A process. You don't see a caterpillar running away, just get up in the tree and lay there and wait. All right. Until his time. Amen. You got to rest in God and hire out what say, invest in his word and, 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 and read his word and study his word and, 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 and stay in the midst of the sex of God. Because sometimes we don't want to do that. We want to stay at home. Last week I thought I was going to stay at home because I was sick for the whole week. And I had an excuse. I'm sick. But because the spirit that lives on the inside of me told me, no, you ain't going to church. I need you to go pray for someone there, and I need you to go. If you don't do them, sit in the midst of me. When time for me to go pray, you go pray and still sit in the midst. Amen. And I thought, in my flesh, I'm going to be tired all day long, and I'm not going to be able to go to Newberry. I came and did the will of the Father, and I felt so energized. I couldn't even go to sleep when I got home that, uh, that evening. Come on, Amen. come on, say it, Pastor. That's the power of God. He began to work. Amen. And I began to think back when I told the Lord, I said, God, I need to lose about 10 pounds. And my people might look at it crazy, but while I was sick, I lost 12. Come on, amen. Right, amen. amen. I just Hallelujah. asked God. And usually, because of that extra 10 pounds, my knees and legs were hurt so bad. But my legs and knees feel so much better. Come on, see it, Pastor. See it, man. Because of that extra pounds that's off my body. And I told the Lord, I said, I gotta maintain. I gotta maintain. We gotta maintain, saints. Uh-huh. Do preach it. We find ourselves falling off the wagon. That don't mean get back up and eat the rest of that pack of cookies. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. We do it. We do it. Now you can say what you want. I'm going to eat this one little block of chocolate. Next thing you know, you're going to piss off the next and the next and the next. You got to maintain. You can't just be able to say, I'm a part of a church. Come on. Yeah, come on. Man. You tanned it now. You tanned it. As long as I'm a part of the church, that's enough. No, it's not. Come on. We got to strive. We got to change. We got to allow God to do some, some work. Do the work in us. And the word says he's doing the work. He's doing the work. He's doing the work for his good, for his purpose, for his yeah. glory. Amen. So we gotta let go of what we want, uh -huh. what our friends want, mm -hmm. even what family wants. All right. It's about what God wants. Because if we don't do what God wants, we're not doing His will. Amen. Esther went through a cultural change. She was an orphan. And when they asked her, told her that she had to go be with the king, she was like, man, no. I'm happy right where I am. How many sometimes we say we happy where we at? I'm good. I'm good. I attend church every once in a while. Or maybe you might do every Sunday. It doesn't make a difference. But what is your spirit, man? Is it growing? Or you just like that tree out there looking all messed up. You come into church, you just part of the church. But you just like that tree all about to fall apart. Every day we're falling apart because we don't know how, we're not leaning on God, we're leaning on ourselves Amen. and people. Amen. But Esther, she went through a cultural change and she had to go in and she was picked. Royalty and everything. Uh-huh. Oh yes, you're beautiful. You don't even have to wear a diamond ring. You don't have to wear a necklace or earrings, but you're beautiful. Because of God that was living on the inside of her, yeah. that was the glow. That was the glow. But things began to change. 
somebody got jealous. Somebody got envious. Uh -huh. And they wanted to go in and change some things in the kingdom. Went and talked to the king, got in his ear. King decided he was going to kill all the Jews. And guess what? Esther is a Jew, but she never told the king. Come on now. He knew it was something different about her, but he didn't know that she was a Christian woman. All right. Amen. And when things began to happen, Esther began to sit back and say, well, what do I do? If I go and talk to the king, I'm going to die because he, he didn't ask for me. Back then, you, he had so many concubines, and you don't work to see the king if you were invited. She hadn't been invited. So she had to decide whether she want to please herself, look out for herself, or please God. And Mordecai looked at her and said, well, you know what? You do what you want to do, but guess what? God, go, he will find somebody else, but that doesn't mean you're going to be okay. All right. I have a purpose for your life. God has a purpose for our life, and sometimes we get off track and go astray. Uh huh. And then we wonder why things are happening so bad around us. What's going on? Why are we going through all these changes? Because you're, you're walking out of your purpose. Jesus. So Esther began to think about that thing, and she said. If I live, let me live. I'm going to. If I die, let me die. Let me go see the king. All right. I'm in this place for your glory, Lord, not for mine. All right. We should put everybody on a fast. How many times I tell everybody we need to go on a fast? All right. Come on now. We need to pray. The reason why I go on a fast because we got too caught up in ourselves. We need to let. Self go and put, get, put God back in our priority. Amen. Get our focus back on the Lord. And you're going to fast, that means you're going to deny yourself and give yourself to God. Amen. Think about His will and not your will. All right. Yes, Jesus. Forget about that fried chicken that you want today and, and decide to read that word, eat of the word. Amen. Bishop said he got to have some baked chicken. <laughs> but she began to fast and she began to pray and when she began to fast and pray when she walked out there the king called her in uh, All right, that's she didn't die mm -hmm. and had she died it was for God's glory Amen. but God the king called her in he said come what is it you want from me it is amen when you get before God and begin to pray and begin to fast and talk to him, God will ask, what is it you want? What is it you need from me? What, what, what is it you'll have from me? Because you're about his will and nobody else's. Amen. It's not about myself no more, Lord. It's about you. And the king gave her exactly what she wanted. Amen. Amen. She told him. She began to tell him this, you know, this, this. He's trying to kill the Jews. He's trying to kill all of us. I'm a Jew also. The king, he couldn't renege on what he said. Uh -huh. But he gave the Jews the ability to go out and attack uh -huh. and destroy anybody that came against him. Amen. So when you're praying and you're fasting and you're getting before God, you're doing God's glory. God will give you guidance and directions. He'll tell you what to do to hit, to stop that issue that you're going through right now. Like I said, I asked God, I said, God, I need to lose 10 pounds. And I laid in the bed and lost them 10 pounds. But somebody might look at me, man, you were sick. Yes, I was sick, but it was gone. It worked out for my good. All right, amen. amen. For my good. Get in the spirit, get in the spirit. All right. I had to get in the spirit because I was saying to myself, man, sick. But as I got in the spirit, the spirit said, you lost the 10 pounds and more that you asked for. Come on, come on, man. But I got to maintain. We got to maintain, saints. Yes, we do. 
I don't care what, how many cars you got. I don't care how many houses you got. I don't care how much money you got in your account. You need to maintain yourself in Christ Jesus because that's who's going to lead and guide you. That's who's going to keep you. Amen. That's who's going to cover you. Amen. Money go tomorrow. Houses going bankruptcies, foreclosures. Come on, come on, come on. They can pick up your car tomorrow. Jobs can be gone tomorrow, but God is always God. Amen. Amen. He's going to always be there. Is he just singing, he made a way? He, made a way. he makes a way. Amen. It's God, nobody else. Nobody. I love my husband, but I can't depend on my husband. I need to depend on God. Amen. 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 And when you hear the voice of God say, move, you need to move. Uh -huh. Sometimes you're not just saving yourself, you're going to save your spouse. Yes, yes. You're going to save your, your family, your children. Because God is telling you to move in a way that, hallelujah, you might not even understand. God is telling you to move in a way that, that your kids might not even understand. Come on, come on now. You got to maintain. You got to maintain this walk. You got to strive each and every day. Amen. People that smoke cigarettes, let go of cigarettes. Let it, I'm not going to smoke this pack this week. I'm going to smoke a half a pack until I don't have to smoke no more. All right. Uh -huh. Say it now. They strive. They try. They change. They change everything just so that for their good. Yes. If you want things to work out for your good, you need to call your Lord and say, you need to trust God. You need to lean on God. Yes, Lord. Yes. You need to ask God for that change to help you to turn some things around in your life. All right. us are perfect. But he said, all we need to ask is that we would strive. The scripture, the last scripture, let me read it to you right quick. Philippians 1 and 6 says, yes, Jesus. Philippians 1 and 6 says, I am certain that God will begin the good work within you. He begins a good work within you. Come on, come on now. We'll continue his work until it is finally finished. On the day when Christ Jesus returned. Amen. He has not let you go. No, he, he is not taking his hand off of you. Amen. Or none of those others that you prayed for. He will continue. To do a good work. Within you. But you got to want that change. Amen. Quit looking at your faults. And your shortcomings. And your struggles. Say it again. Say it again now. Change. Change. Go in a different direction. Change your eating habits. Yes, Jesus. Drink more water. Hallelujah. Amen. Drink more of this word. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I don't just read my words. I sometimes I get on Facebook and I see it's a it's a page on there that says, what is the word? I heard the word or something like the word. But I, I like to hear this guy named Stephen, um, the Elevation Church. Let me say it that way. I love his word. And I listen to it. You might like, you're a preacher and so. Uh, all right. I got to be fed too. That's right. Say it, Pastor. So I get fed everything. Every time I get a chance, I get fed every day. If I'm going to pick up Facebook, I'm going to get some word in me. Amen. Yes, Lord. I pick up Facebook, I need to get some word in me. Amen. Yes, Lord. Something to keep me growing and thriving. Yes, Jesus. We can't grow if we don't put something on the inside. Amen. Tell him, Pastor. Tell Amen. Him. Flowers don't grow unless you water it and they get some sunshine. Amen. We got to grow. And the only way we got to grow, we got to keep this word. Get the word on the inside. Yes, Jesus. My son, my daughter-in-law, gave me, uh, told me that I could look at YouTube. And watch the singing. I watch singing every day. My grandkids probably said, man, grandma. I watch with them trolls every day. I watch. <laughs> yes, every day. Now we're watching Smurfs. But before we get to watch Smurf and trolls, we go listen to Miranda Curtis. And she sings, you are my strength. 
Every day I have to hear that. Because it reminds me that my, no, my strength don't come from people. Come on. It don't come from the food I eat. Amen. It comes from God. That's right. And the song says, you are my strength. Strength like no other. No other. And then she began to sing, you are my hope. Yes. Hope like no other. You are my peace. Her peace like no other. And it reaches to me. His strength, his peace, his hope, it all reaches to me. Amen. Because I, I pull from him. That's right. I pull from him. Since God wants us to pull from him. Hallelujah. We can pull strength. We can pull hope. We can pull that peace. When I find myself in my down in my spirit, I pull from God. Right, amen. Because he's my strength. I can talk to Bishop all day long. I can call my friend all day long. But until I pull from God, amen. that's who keeps me up and keeps me going, keeps me living. Helps me to make it. And the more I pull from him, the more he reaches in and begin to do a work in my life. Begin to change my heart, my spirit. Yes, Lord. Change my mind. I got a new mindset. Amen. Yes, Lord. A new walk in Him. Yes, Jesus. Even my talk has changed. Because I, hallelujah. Because I decided to make a change. Amen. I stopped going against His will and I decided. It's about your will, Lord. And when I find myself in a place where I'm going to do my own thing, yes. I am miserable. Come on. When I find I can't pray, I begin to cry out to God and I begin Him lifting me up, strengthening me. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I feel I can go on a little bit longer. Because the word says he's doing a work in me, within me. Yeah, and he'll continue to do it. If I would if I open my heart and let him, he'll continue to do it until Jesus comes. Amen. 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 